Hey everybody, Durag back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. It's not often that Void Interactive releases a whole lot of information about their game publicly, but when they do, you know I'll be around. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover Ready or Not, whenever they drop an update, be sure to like and comment. And with that all being said, let's get into the update. So all the updates that are coming in are from their Twitter. It says here, uh, our newest update for the Ready or Not Alpha has arrived today, and the change logs are hefty. You can read more about our newly introduced changes below, and that is what we're going to be doing. That's a very nice picture, by the way. You know. One thing that I noticed about this picture is that if you actually make the picture brighter, he has a black bar covering his eyes. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything, because I, I believe this is the first time that they've ever used a black bar to cover any SWAT guy's eyes at all. Carcosa? I think when I was brightening the picture up, kind of looked like there was a barcode on his eyes, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Da, 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 da. But anyways, let's get into the mini update here. They are adding a new single player co-op blockout map, Vel. Now, I have actually played this map, but I didn't actually get a good look at it because there was like a bunch of people in the map and they were all screaming and yelling and getting crowded up and it's just like, what the heck is going on? Like the, the match ended before I could actually do anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'll definitely dive deeper into that map because I want to see what it's all about. But let's move on. They are apparently adding changes to the hotel, dealer, port, and club maps. What are the changes? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually looked at the changes in those maps just yet. But even if I did, it's not like I could tell you because I'm under heavy NDA. But yeah, let's move on. They added in the AR-18 assault rifle. I honestly don't know how to feel about this because it feels like that is a very dated weapon. From what I understand, it was made anywhere from the 1960s to 1980s, I believe. And it just seems as if Void Interactive is doing like a full trend of like old weapons into the game. And I'm just wondering if there's like an explanation behind this. Not that I don't welcome it. It's just, I find it very odd that they're using older weapons. And like the only thing that really comes to mind is just budget cuts. I think that that would be a really funny explanation. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. Let's move on to the next one. They have made numerous improvements to the sound system. I really can't say for sure if it was any different. I mean, I couldn't really tell you to begin with, but a gamer can dream, I guess. Moving on to the next one. They added door integrity levels and reinforced doors. You know, if they actually make this randomized, this is going to make levels more interesting because it's going to force the players to think of ways to get into the buildings in different ways or open doors in different ways because you can't simply just kick every door open it's just not going to work that way so pretty cool pretty cool let's move on the last one just says and many other improvements and well i'm actually looking at the improvements right now but i can't say anything because it's it's in the nda server so all i can say is that there's quite a bit and that's about it so what are your thoughts on this mini update from void interactive i think it's great for people that are actually in the alpha but for the other people that that are outside it doesn't seem too enticing at least that's just what i think but yeah what are your thoughts do you think void interactive should be more interactive let me know what you think down below be sure to like comment and share if you're someone that's new be sure to subscribe and ding that bell for more updates on not only this game but tactical shooters in general and if you're someone that really wants to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really does help and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye